Well, this is the Jones House at the corner of Eden and Pollock Streets, and this whole room is my main costume shop. I have two full height cutting tables, but I also have several work surfaces that I move around and use as I need them. We've got storage in the back, um, my computer and little workstation back there. Uh, and right now it's a big mess because we've come off of a couple of big events from previous in the year, and we're getting geared up for candlelight. So there's a lot going on right now. Um, this is the ice cream costume that is almost finished. Just a few more things have to be basted together and added on to it. Uh, this is going to be Mrs. Martin's costume. She is the queen of the evening. Um, her, her role is going to be very key, and so she has to look stunning compared to everything else. So we have lots of bling, she has a crown, um, and it's very showy. Um, we want her to kind of very much be shown off, but we also have a budget to work with, so we couldn't really afford a, a really nice crown, so this is poster board. <laughs> and a little bit of hot glue and a little bit of spray paint and work some magic. Um, we're going to give her some plenty of sparkly jewelry and lots of froofiness to make her look very fun. Whereas contrasted to kind of a normal 18th century dress of the time, this is what an evening gown might look like. It's very plain. Um, it might have more trim than that, but this one we're trying to keep very tailored. It's, it's sort of a generic dress that I can take in several different directions depending on who wears it and what their impression needs to be for the masquerade. So we can take this very boring 18th century dress, put a fancy mask onto it, and add a sash and some pins and things like that and turn it into uh, probably winter since um, this costume will be dancing in the winter themed room. Or I could even take it into a shepherdess or something like that. When I'm working on site, if I need to put together a, a basic outfit for someone who's going to be doing day-to-day -day interpretation, it'll take me a couple of days to make sure I have their measurements and do a fitting and make sure hems are the right length. But then when I get into more of these complicated dresses and, and men's clothing and things like that, it takes a lot longer. Research it takes a lot of time with some of these costumes. It's harder to dig up different aspects with the detailing of a masquerade costume. We've research the outfit and bring it into something that looks a little more practical that can be worn in real life. This is a piece that got used last year that's going through some reworking to fit someone else. And you can see how the inspiration is taken from the image with the puffs on the skirt. We even reproduced the hat from one of the images. A little small woman's tricorn hat. See we're taking the cuffs open to fit a larger hand size taking in some side seams to fit a smaller person here, and just making work with what we have. Whereas many of the pieces are going to be new, we also have to reuse some pieces. Hope you enjoyed your time in the costume shop, and you can come and see us on the 14th and 21st of December to see some of these costumes being worn in action. Looking forward to seeing you there.